Welcome back Wastelanders. Video number three is an unboxing I got from LTK. Love them knife. So this is not a new knife, but it's a knife that I always wanted. So um, also it's the last ranger, not the lone ranger. Hint hint stiletto. Let's get this bad boy open using my real steel control. A little, little cool lanyard. So this is a knife I once encountered on drop.com after after it was unavailable and it's the 3001 precision that is S35 VN steel by Poltergeist Works and I wanted to I wanted the premium version of it and LTK had it on sale on his uh, channel so yay so it's it's not really a Black Friday thing, but he was running his sale about this about the same time, and no one had uh, bought the real steel uh, precision three thousand one precision, and I was able to snap it up. Great! Now my cats will find the rubber band and eat it, and I'll be seeing it in their poop <laughs> so this features uh, titanium and like I said s35 VN steel and this is the uh, premium version it's number 79 I don't know how many of them were made but it's number 79 that doesn't matter to me If I remember right, the premium versions always have a certificate of authenticity. And, yep, it does. And, yep, number 79. I don't see how many of them were made, but I'll probably have to look that up. And the instructions that don't have anything to do with the knife, I think. I don't care. <laughs> and I think LTK wrap rewrapped it special for me. Yes, finally. I uh, dyed its uh, lower, uh, the other version I have. It, it used to be a fruit green and I dyed the scales red so you can see how it compares to uh, the premium version the premium version has a longer clip and it has a little fuller in its blade they have the real steel logo and both of them are or, uh, both sides are titanium which is fantastic I love I love this blade this blade shapes this handle I just love it it's a small knife but it does it isn't really small it it's uh, quite large it it, fill, it fills out the hand you can see the poltergeist works um, logo and I, I dig the screws uh, but I probably won't add a a lanyard to this knife I think it's fine without a lanyard and believe it or not this these screws are hard to get the uh, lanyard 550 paracord through there's a little uh, blue going on in the post the barrel spacer full four finger grip for me yay It doesn't appear to be drop shetty, at least uh, right now. 
maybe I have to break it in. I'm I'm sure LTK didn't even carry it. And yeah, I I like the 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 default version of it, but I like this precision version even more. It's centered right on the mark. Let's check uh the lockup. It appears to be maybe 50% or a little bit more. Lovely, lovely knife. It's clean design. I appreciate a clean design knife. That blue, that blue spacer. That's kind of cool. This has all been rounded over. It's very... The blades have been rounded over. I meant. Yeah. I really love... I dig this knife. Yeah. I, I really dig this knife. It, it completes uh, the collection. Yeah. For me... It's oh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, Instagram, this is my Instagram, and let's uh, check the titanium because this is a magnet, magnetic, so it doesn't stick to it. Yep, <laughs> you can see how it sticks to steel. Oh. The screws are not, or the screws are steel. Yep, it's titanium and steel. <laughs> anyway, I really dig this knife. I really dig this knife. Take care, Wastelanders, and have a good rest of your week. And I'll probably post a another video on the weekend it, but you know cyberpunk 277 came out and that may uh, capture my time <laughs> bye bye